Have you ever wondered about the celestial bodies that exist beyond our known planets? One such intriguing entity is Ceres, a dwarf planet nestled within our solar system. Discovered in the first dawn of the 19th century, in 1801 to be precise, Ceres first caught the eye of Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi. Initially, it was classified as a planet, only to be rebranded as an asteroid later on. This was due to the discovery of many other similar-sized bodies in the same region, which we now know as the asteroid belt. However, the plot twist came in 2006 when advancements in astronomical understanding led to a new category of celestial bodies. Dwarf planets. And guess who fit the bill? Yes, it was our very own Ceres. So Ceres has had quite a journey, hasn't it? From planet to asteroid and now, a dwarf planet. So, what exactly does Ceres look like and what is it made of? Let's start with size. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt that lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It's about 600 miles in diameter. That's roughly the length of the Florida Peninsula. Now let's dive into its composition. Ceres is a mixture of rock and water ice. Yes, you heard right, water ice. It's believed that this dwarf planet may hold more fresh water than all of Earth. Quite a surprise for a body that's so far from the Sun, isn't it? Moving on to the surface features, Ceres has many intriguing aspects. The most famous of these are its bright spots, known as faculae. These are areas of salt deposits, which reflect sunlight and create a fascinating contrast against the otherwise dark surface. Ceres, with its unique features, offers an intriguing glance into the mysteries of our universe. Have you ever wondered how Ceres moves in space? This dwarf planet, nestled within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, embarks on an intriguing journey around the Sun. Unlike a leisurely stroll, Ceres spins on its axis every nine hours and four minutes, making its day far shorter than ours on Earth. Ceres' orbit is more elliptical than ours, but it's not alone in this. Many celestial bodies in our solar system share a similar pattern. It takes Ceres about four and a half Earth years to complete a single orbit around the Sun, a journey that Earth makes in just one year. But don't let its size fool you. Despite being the smallest recognized dwarf planet, Ceres holds its own in the cosmic ballet. Its unique dance is shaped by the gravitational pulls of its larger neighbors. Ceres, despite its small size, has a fascinating dance with the Sun and other celestial bodies. What secrets has Ceres revealed to us so far? In the pursuit of these mysteries, NASA launched the Dawn mission, a voyage of discovery to this enigmatic dwarf planet. The Dawn spacecraft with its cutting-edge technology orbited Ceres, providing us with detailed images and data that stirred the scientific community. Dawn's findings painted a picture of a world more fascinating than we could have ever imagined. The spacecraft detected a significant amount of water ice on Ceres, hinting at the possibility of a subsurface ocean, a revelation that could change our understanding of life's potential beyond Earth. It also revealed Ceres' famous bright spots, now believed to be deposits of sodium carbonate, a type of salt, hinting at geologic activity. The Dawn mission also discovered an intriguing lone mountain, Ahuna Mons, which stands as a testament to Ceres' geologically active past. The Dawn mission shed light on Ceres, but also left us with more questions than answers. What if we told you that Ceres could have once had water activity similar to Earth? That's right. This dwarf planet is not just an inert rock floating in space, but a world with a complex geological history. Evidence suggests that in its past, Ceres may have had an active surface, with water flowing and reshaping its landscape. Intriguingly, scientists believe that Ceres may still harbor a global subsurface ocean, a tantalizing prospect for astrobiologists. Imagine, an ocean hidden beneath the surface of this distant world potentially teeming with life as we don't yet know it. But what does this mean for science? Well, Ceres is a time capsule, a relic from the dawn of our solar system. By studying its geological activity, we can glean insights into the processes that led to the formation of our own planet and others in our cosmic neighborhood. For instance, the presence of water ice on Ceres strongly suggests that the building blocks of life are more common in our solar system than previously thought. This doesn't just change our understanding of where life could exist, but also how life might have started right here on Earth. 
series, it seems, holds the key to understanding many mysteries of our early solar system. With each new discovery, we inch closer to answering some of the most profound questions about our place in the universe. And who knows what secrets this little world will reveal next. From scientific importance to cultural significance, Ceres has made quite an impact. It has even found its way into the realm of science fiction, sparking imaginations and inspiring storytellers. Take, for instance, the popular TV series, The Expanse. In this show, Ceres Station is a bustling vital hub of human activity in the asteroid belt. The dwarf planet also makes appearances in video games, offering players a chance to explore and interact with this distant world in a virtual setting. But the story of Ceres isn't limited to the realm of fiction. Looking to the future, scientists are eager to delve deeper into the mysteries it holds. The prospect of future missions to Ceres, with more advanced technology and instruments, is truly exciting. These missions could reveal more about the icy bright spots on its surface, or even discover evidence of subsurface oceans and possible life. Moreover, Ceres could play a pivotal role in helping us understand the early solar system and the formation of planets. It's like a time capsule, preserving the conditions of the solar system's infancy. By studying it, we're essentially peering back in time, gaining insights into our cosmic origins. Ceres, a tiny dwarf planet with big secrets, continues to captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike. What will we uncover next?